Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're keeping well. Well, real different job today. I've been uh, commissioned, or, or rather not really commissioned, a good friend of mine, Alex Broadway, has been commissioned to capture images for a spot the ball competition. 50 rugby, 50 cricket and 50 football. Well, I think Alex has pretty, pretty quickly got the football and the cricket, nice and easy, but rugby's a little bit more difficult. So I've come down to my local rugby club today, Scunthorpe. RUFC and uh, I'm going to attempt to get some frames for Alex obviously I'm not going to put any frames up that might go to the spot the ball competition but uh, really looking forward to it absolutely no pressure I'm not sending out or anything not even brought my laptop so I'm just going to fire away I'm going to position myself probably just in the dugouts I think because that's where the most of the action will be not bothered about getting tries or anything today so it's all about I don't know passing might make a good shot if you you know you've got to obviously take the ball out and so no ball in hand stuff obviously that'd be too easy to guess but uh yeah stuff like that so anyway it's going to be totally different but uh i'll get set up the guys are just warming up so i'll get my kit up out and sorted and uh, catch you in a bit Right, so that's me all set up. I've actually come back along the pitch a bit because the sun's going to be setting to my right, so obviously quite side lit. But uh, as the sun goes down, once once the kickoffs taking place at three o'clock, that sun's going to get lower, and I should get some nice side light. So I'm going to stick Doug outside first half. Now I'm thinking. I was talking to Alex about it, and he said we need as clean a backdrop as possible but it's going to be quite tricky because as you can see we've got this white fencing all the way round so obviously the guys that run the spot the ball job have got to edit the ball out and the, the cleaner the background the better but um, I think we'll be alright we've got houses and that on the other side of the pitch but it's quite dark there's some dark trees but we have got this white fence so we'll see how we get on I'm going to shoot at 2.8 obviously so that I've got a really nice fall off so that hopefully the backdrop will be nice and soft and easier to edit the ball out of and uh, yeah so I'm on the 40 uh, the uh, 70 to 200 for anything close again I'm looking for passing of the ball probably a line out line out would be a good one kick off and that obviously catching the ball as it's coming in things like that and uh, yeah it should be good I'm quite excited about this it's something totally different when uh, Alex approached me I thought yeah I'll love a go at that so obviously I will put some images up because it's good practice as well I don't do enough rugby really so It'd be good practice to get some nice, good, good quality rugby frames, and uh, yeah, 400 ready, and we're all set to go. So uh, just wait for kickoff now. I can't believe I'm in t-shirt in October and in a t-shirt, but uh, just a nice little breeze. So uh, anyway, I'll get me eye in with these guys while they're warming up, and uh, we'll see you at kickoff. Catch, good boy. Go on. Go on, we win! Off his feet! He's off his feet! Yeah, that's how we take! Come on, referee! Play the game! Come on, 
Well, as you can see, I've moved. Just wasn't happy with the backdrop and the linked passes where I want the ball in mid-air between two players. Just wasn't the right angle. I thought it would be, but it wasn't. So I've come to the try line now. And uh, so it's three quarters of the way through the first half. So I'll see how we get on here second half. Score's fairly level. I think both teams have, I don't know, scored three or four tries each. So, so I'm getting plenty of play. I was getting plenty of play running past me but just not I was hoping to get that the player releasing the ball towards me but it won't happen so I've come to the try line now to see what I can get coming towards me but uh, it's quite difficult I think it's going to be a bit easier now as well because the sun's gone in so the clouds have rolled in now so won't be able to work so hard on the exposure compensation it's gone fairly flat now I've also got the 1DX Mark III on the 400 and combined that it's an absolute dream. I'm at 2,000th of a second shutter speed, left 2.8, ISO's at about 400. And the frames per second, it must be 14 frames per second flying through. Such a privilege to use this kit. Just need some action coming towards me. It's funny really because I've put my Gallagher Premiership bib on and I've had quite a few comments. Did you take a wrong turn in, mate? <laughs> I thought I'd better put some sort of bib on just because it's got media on it. So. Just in case anyone said anything. I've got half the pitch now. It's got a lovely backdrop. There's a nice thick hedge and a, a big oak tree and then another hedge leading away from it. So I've got a nice black backdrop. I just need some play running towards me. <laughs> It'll happen in a minute, he says. Well, that's half time. I think I'm going to move to the other end. Scunthorpe are scoring a few more tries than none eaten. So I'm going to move to the opposite end. Got a nice fence behind me, which will make a nice dark backdrop. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan for the second half. I'll put some images up now whilst I'm moving to the other end of the pitch. Well, as you can see, a move, second half underway, and the sun's come out again, so I might move again in a minute, because it's quite bright now. It's coming from sort of my two o'clock angle. So I've, I've upped the exposure compensation, just to compensate for that backlit, that backlight, should I say. But I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, we've got a, a line out coming up. really difficult as soon as I panned up for the line out just turned into a silhouette I'll give it five more minutes then I might move just round from the corner so I've almost got the sun behind me another line out Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, just while plays up the other end, just got a nice bit of aggression actually. One player was on the ground, the other player was stood above him, and I thought they were going to have a punch up. But uh, got a nice sequence of them having a bit of argy bargy. I'll pop them up now. Well, they need have just scored a try, but. This project is really difficult. I struggle with rugby a bit at the best of times. Got some nice action today. But getting man releasing ball is difficult. I've not been here before, but I'm going to have to do another rugby game to get some more images, but I don't think I'll be coming back here, not with this white fence. It's too difficult. I do like a challenge, but this is really challenging. Funny, because Alex said, you might get five or ten good images to use. And I thought, oh, hopefully I can get some more, but he's dead right. I bet I ain't got five good quality, clean images that I can use. Not unless the boy's back on the editing suite can edit this white fence out. <laughs> that'll be that'll be some edit if they can. This shutter is so quick. Sounds like a flipping machine gun. It's actually gone quite dark now as you can see on here. I'm just gonna Turn that down a bit. I think that's it for the sun now. I think I chose right to move to the corner flag here. Just a better angle for, for the passing play. It's going to be three or four games though to get up to... Obviously Alex is shooting shooting rugby as well, but between us it'll be three or four games each, I should think, before we can get a good quality set of 50. And you spot the ball for cricket so easy, as soon as that ball leaves the bat, you're laughing. And same with football, really. The ball is kicked so much, or headers, corners, whereas with rugby it's so intermittent, it really is a good challenge. It's all good practice though. I need to do more rugby. Well, it's gone really dark now. Got about 10 minutes left, I think. No pressure, <laughs> but I don't feel like I've got what I came for. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> I said that last week in the Q&A. Terrible backdrop. That was a nice little sequence. The difference between, let me fire this. Fire this Mark three. now the Mark one. You can hear the difference in speed. Well, that's it, full time. At this point, I usually say jobs are good, 
but I'm not so sure it is this time. That was difficult. Definitely going to have to have a few more rugby games. Two or three perhaps, but uh, wow. Good challenge, really good challenge, enjoyed it. I've got some good action. I'll put some more frames up in a minute. Yeah, I've got some nice action, but um, yeah, getting that ball mid-pass or just before the player catches it, quite difficult. And again, you've got to have the run of play and it's been one of them games where not a lot's happened in front of me. But, um, you know, and I've got to try and get the angles right, like I was saying earlier, for the, the backdrop to be nice and dark so that it's easy for the guys to edit the ball out. But this white fence has been a right challenge. But anyway, never mind, good challenge, like I keep saying. And uh, I'll pop a few action shots up now, guys. And uh, <laughs> we'll see. Job might be a good one. <laughs> Well, some nice action shots there, as you saw. <laughs> Not really what I came to get, but anyway. Well, Scunthorpe won 38 to Nuneaton's 29. So, good win for Scunthorpe. But uh, whether or not I'll come back, I don't know. We'll see if the guys can edit these white fences out, but really tricky. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Certainly a good challenge. And uh, until next Sunday, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Take care. Catch up soon. <laughs>